Peggy 3. The culture of hip hop and basketball is very intertwined. Basketball gives rappers a lot to talk about. Hip hop is not only just music, it's, it's a lifestyle. All these amazing players, they represent hip hop too. When it came to picking what songs I wanted to put into the game and creating the original music that would go with it, I still wanted the songs to have some type of a connection to competition. A uh, soundtrack is everything, the whole feel of the storyline. I wanted it to be like inspirational. Every record on there was important to me. It depends on the energy, the beat, the, the lyrics. It makes you want to perform better. It, it's, it's a fun thing that music can actually push you that far to where you, you're almost falling out of your seat, messing up your controller and having to buy a new one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like that one. Can you come in here for a second? Hip hop artists uh, love sports and we love athletes and athletes love us. Even when you see all the players coming in, arriving into the arena, everybody's got their headphones on. A lot of them took the, the basketball route and a lot of us took like the music industry route. And that's how you know like a lot of this collides together. When I met Kevin Garnett, he said, yo, is there any way I can get on the phone and call a couple of my friends to tell them I'm with you? And I was like, yeah, go ahead. When he called his boys, he goes, yo, guess who I'm with? And they're like, who? So he starts going, dum, 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 a million. They go, premiere! When I was in high school, I used to DJ like basketball games like every Friday, and it was like the hypest basketball games. People would come from everywhere to just see these games, and just being there DJing and playing the music and getting the players hyped while they warm up. It was just like Friday night life. When I was a kid, I used to be a ball boy for Orlando Magic, and I used to give my mixtapes to all the NBA players in the locker room. It was nothing like coming to the back of the arena and here I come walking through the same place where the players walk. Shout out NBA 2K, it's DJ Khaled, let's go, drop that. Always compare yourself to who you like and admire. When you do what you, what you do on the level where they recognize it because those are the ones you compared yourself to, then you're in. I want him just to, just to know that it was a great career, a great run. And I just wanted to be like, man, nobody did it like him. I want them to remember I'm the best that ever did it. And not just that, I ain't never surrendered.